Hi guys, it's Ernest from Lipo for Oz, and I just want to take you through the quick settings of the Dia inverter. So out of the box, if you connect it straight up to your batteries, they won't work, especially if you're off grid, because of one setting. So I'll show you what that setting is. So I'll turn the camera around. All right, so we can see here, I've got our 48 volt battery kit set up. It's running through a JK B series BMS. You can see the red cable here goes down through a circuit breaker. And then if we open up the, uh, the box here, it goes into the positive side of the inverter and then the negative side. Now you can tell by obviously the, the ports on the bottom and there is also a little bit of a sign just here and here, okay? And then obviously your live, your generator ports, your live port and your grid is over there. So I'll just put the lid on just for safety and so nothing else falls in there while we're doing the video. Now it's currently on and what I'll do is I've got a, like a kettle here. If I turn that on, you'll see that it's not turning on at the moment. Okay, so let's go into the settings and I'll show you what we update. So go into your settings here. First, go into your battery. And because we're using a battery without communication, I select battery, use battery voltage. Okay, and select yes. Okay, I've updated the battery capacity here. So my battery capacity, or I had, but now it's saying 400 for some strange reason. I'll go down to 100 amp hours, which is what this is. Okay, select yes, go back. Maximum charge in terms of amps and discharge. Now, discharge, you might wanna increase that being a five kilowatt, or this is a five kilowatt inverter, which if you're pulling five kilowatts out of it, it's 104 amps off the top of my head. So I'll go up to, let's call it you know, 100 amps. I'll select yes. Okay, this maximum charge, again, it really depends on what your solar is putting out or what your generator is putting out if you're fully off grid. We'll go to the next page. These settings here relate to when you would like your generator to, to start charging or if when you want your, your grid to start charging. So obviously if you're off grid and you've got a generator input, you can put in what voltage do you want your batteries to be before the generator starts. Now with these inverters, they can actually automatically start a generator. As you can see here, there's a setting for the generator signal and also you can turn on the generator charging. We'll go down. These are all the settings for your battery. So low voltage, I've got mine set at, sorry, low battery. I've got mine set here at 48.5 volts. The reason being is I've got my BMS to disconnect at 48 volts. So I want my, I want the inverter to disconnect first before the, the, the BMS. Now it's not such a big deal because look, naturally it may, flick over to a generator if you've got that, but not so much with the JK BMSs, but with some of the other BMSs that we've dealt with in the past, like daily, if you hit the low voltage disconnect on the BMS, it'll basically turn off and you've got to restart it. And so it will happen with the inverter, the inverter will turn off. So I'd like to have my inverter set so that it turns off or disconnects before the BMS has to. So yeah, you can see here, 48.5 volt is low voltage, restart at 50 volts. We've got a float, absorption, equalization. In there, they're preset fields. I've just left them at where they are. So let's go to the next. Okay, that's it. So we'll hit okay. Then we'll go into system work. You can see here that we've got zero export to load. And then I'll untick that one there, which doesn't want to untick, but we haven't got that selected anyway. So I'll select yes, go back in. All right, so let it go down. Okay, time of use. Okay, so I've got that ticked as well. Okay, then we'll go into basic settings. Now, basic settings is just basically your date and your language, which I'm assuming is English if you're watching this video. We'll select yes, go back here. Okay, advanced options. Now, this setting here, which is DRM, I forget what it stands for, I'll probably put it down below on the video, but basically this needs to be turned off, okay? It's a setting that allows the inverter to be turned off remotely 
if they need to need the grid provider needs to do that it's a requirement by Australian standards that the inverter has that option so that you know for app off-grid application it doesn't really matter anyway and so turn that that off we'll select okay grid settings not really relevant hit that advanced functions let's just go to the second screen second screen no okay that should be good okay now with that setting turned off okay let me just double check everything the inverter should now actually work with the just the battery connected all right so we can see the inverter has now got the normal light on and so i'll go and turn on the kettle the kettle's now working and we can see that it's drawing out 2.06 kilowatts out of the system. So yeah, battery is currently providing load to the inverter and we've got a kettle that's on. So guys, that's how you get your DIA inverter to work with a battery only setup off grid. So they're the settings, but yeah, if you've got any other questions or need help, feel free to reach out through the website or give us a call.